Sometimes you need to use two separate data sources within the same table or chart or visualization. In order to do this, you need to specify how the two data sources are connected and what the logical relationship is. This can easily be done in the Elastic Cube by specifying which fields are connected. For example, over here we have a commerce table and if I look at each row, I've got a brand ID and a category ID and a country ID. This doesn't give me descriptive information about the brand category or country and I'll need to connect it to another table in order to get that information. Over here, we've got three separate tables. So if I look at the brand table, I'll see I actually do have the brand name and I've got a brand ID. So what I can do is I can create a relationship between the sales table and the brand table. And once that's connected, in the dashboard I'll be able to list each brand and see how much revenue we generated from each one. So to do this, I'm going to simply drag and drop corresponding fields. And you'll see that if a connection can be made, it'll be highlighted in green. And releasing that will now create a join between these two tables. What's very important to note is this join only takes effect when the result set in both tables is the same. So only when the brand ID from the brand table is equal to the brand ID in the commerce table. So only when they're exactly the same will that logic come into place and the calculation be done together. I can also create multiple relationships. So over here I'm going to join on category ID and lastly I'm going to join on country ID. Now what's important to note is if a relationship cannot be made, so if I try to connect it to date, you'll see I'm getting a red line and a message indicating a relationship cannot be formed. The reason for this is typically that the field types are different. So you can only connect fields that are the same type together. So text fields to text fields, date fields to date fields, integer fields to integer fields, and so forth. Once these relationships are in place, I'll have to do a build to create the relationship and restructure our schema. And I can also easily manage these relationships. So for example, if I want to remove it, I can simply click on it and delete the relationship and it'll be removed. This type of relationship is something called an inner join. If you're a little bit more um, technical or you have a different type of relationship, for example, if you want the relationship to be everything in the table over here in the commerce table, but only matching fields from the brand table, you would need something called a right join. And this can also be done using custom SQL expressions.